Hello, 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 and welcome to another episode of the Crazy Town Podcast. My name is Jonas, I'm your host, and I'm here with T. TNT Dynamite Explosive One TNT Dino MIGHT Yo I'm pouty today Jonas. Are you dude? Why are you so pouty? I don't TNT know. I'm pouty Dude Does someone poo in your puffs? <laughs> Somebody pissed in my Cheerios this morning God damn it No I'm pissed <laughs> <laughs> Sounds about right <laughs> Uh, thank you so much for joining us on the Crazy Town Podcast Whether you're joining us on our YouTube channel or Crazy Town Media or on uh, Spotify, iTunes, all that stuff. Uh, you search Crazy Town Podcast. This guy does Twitch. TNT Dynamite. I'm on Twitch every single day at 10 o'clock a.m. Central. That's TNT D-I-N-O-M-I-G-H-T at well, underscore Crazy Town at Twitch.tv. Heck yeah. Hang out with your boy. Oh, wow. So, uh, what's up, dude? You got anything new and exciting going on? Oh, Jonas, man. It's very fitting that we would be... Playing this story over the New York Giants playing. Aww, is it about <laughs> unity and working together? I mean, to a certain extent, yes, it Aww, is about mean, unity. Dude, I'm, I'm foreshadowing. All right, so Jonas, there are many, many, many different town, cities, bureaus of New York. Yeah, dude, there's Hell, Michigan. Uh, Hell's Kitchen. No, just Hell, Michigan. Oh. My grandma sent me a postcard one time, and in the front of it said, Greetings from Hell. And I was like, Hi, Grandma, you said the Hell word. I was like eight. She thought it was cute. <laughs> <You said that. laughs> All right, fair. That was a good story. It was thank, fine, dude. Yeah, no, thank you like, for sharing that yeah. with us. That was, and we need to know. Yeah. Uh-huh. Uh, so, <laughs> lots of towns in New York, though, too. So there's lots of towns in New York. And many of them have names that have ties to events or symbols in history. Yes. Just recently, a town voted to change its name that was stoked in some controversy. Oh, was it like one of and, those like Washington football team sort of names? Um, The name of the town is Swastika. Jesus. <laughs> I love it, dude. Swastika, New York. Swastika, New York, Jonas. But wasn't it? like the swastika not an evil symbol until the it's, Nazis see, took it See, that's the thing, yes. Even in the article that I read, it said that the swastika was popularized in uh, Europe in the 19th century, and it was only adopted by the Nazi party, party in 1920. And right. even further beyond that, uh, like, I believe it's Tibetan, not a hundred truths, not facts, but it was a symbol of peace. And it always was considered, like, a symbol of peace. And it was predominantly displayed on buildings and there's still some remnants of it in uh european culture as so well. ironically the nazi flag was them saying <clears throat> peace they yes. thought they were bringing peace to the world by by taking care of the things they were trying to it do it was kind of a deterrent so that they looked like the good guys it's like being the bad guys and wearing all white it's like wait what oh uh, which gotcha. is why the uh, kkk they're wearing white hoods because they're the good guys. Yeah, remember? dude, I remember that. <laughs> yep. This this is a thing that a lot of hate groups do to try to make themselves like we are the white knights. We're the good guys. We're the white knights of death. <laughs> what? You gotta kill the evil other people skins. You aren't the white knights, dude. Anybody <laughs> who's not a white knight is dead, right? So this town had a, and they decided not to change their name. They had a, uh, they had a like a town like a a town hall or whatever or like a citywide vote to change the name to something more uh, oh like vote vote yes on issue 11 yeah so you know change the town from swastika to no maybe just the new york momastica <laughs> the new york city <laughs> the new york city <laughs> new york city too <laughs> New York City Redux. Yeah, it is. Uh, yeah, but it could have been anything. So, Joe, how do you feel about like I, I like I? We've seen this happen so many times with the Cleveland Indians, with the uh, yes, the Washington Football Team, with uh, all these teams are deciding to change their. The Bullets did it, like you said. Yeah, it was like in the nineties, and they've done it for things that are. I don't know if it's necessarily as like just. It, this particular word just it means a lot to a lot of people. Yes. And yeah. when you heard me say it, it was like, oh, so you could live in swastika if you so chose. 
That's weird. Isn't that weird? Yeah. I wonder if there's black people living in Swastika or Jewish people living in Swastika. Dude, I don't know. I wouldn't dude. imagine if I was Jewish, I would want to live in a place called Swastika. You would? No, I said I would not oh, want to live not. in a place yeah. called Swastika. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe you'd be like them being like, you know what? I'm going to live here to make sure that we own this ish. I'm good. <laughs> yeah, dude, I'm good. Too. It kind of makes me like, what's the impetus for a person that says I'm moving to Swastika? Are they looking like, are you looking for something? Does Swastika have any like nice businesses? I don't know much about Swastika. We can do like a Google flyover. We, like, we can Google later. Maps Swastika. Dude. Yeah, oh, we that'll can, work we can out for us. Yeah, dude, that's pretty. Uh, they decided to keep it, huh? Yeah, and and, and with all the right reasons, like the, the stuff I said before. Have a Charlie Chaplin mustache by chance? Wow, Jonas, <laughs> I don't know, but I don't believe so. I'm sure he's a very nice and tolerant man. Remember, it was a vote. The people who have lived there, the people who actually lived there. You want to know what else happened because of a vote? <laughs> they decided to stay. With a couple the other name. things happened because of votes too. <laughs> Just saying. I'm just saying. It's like people right. spoke. Look. All right. Well, do you think they should change the name? Yeah, probably. Okay. I, I I'd do say, too. I like. Okay. Like. I it, get it, it, but this century, I think it's more of like the century of the 2000 is like let's get rid of ish. Or I can say let's get rid of shit that is out <laughs> in the world that offends people because of like atrocities that have happened. Yes. Like pre 2000, you could be out here saying old Washington football team, you could say derogatory, homophobic, slurb. You could say all sorts of stuff, and it was yeah. all right back yeah. then. After 2000, the world kind of changed, and now it's like, let's get rid of the football well, team's former. Let's see, not say slurs. Okay, let's, you know. Okay, and, like, I understand that because there's, like, even uh, it was one of the presidential con candidates, and the name of his, uh, one of his dad's ranches was Inhead Ranch. N head? Yes. Like in the actual N word slur? head, yes. N word head ranch. Oh my god. Do you know about this kind of stuff? I, <laughs> Jesus. This is like that that name is actually very, very common to a lot of landmarks in this country. But that's on a whole different another story. Now that kind of stuff should be thrown out. Right. To name yourself after what was a symbol of peace, and it and it has been called swastika for Years Probably ago. before the Nazis ever took it over. B yes, before the Nazis took over. Yes, I would. I would probably say so because America was founded way back when. Yeah, it's yeah, probably yeah. been around since the 1800s at least. Yes, nineteen nineteen yeah. hundreds. It was popularized. They were like, "Oh, this is a beautiful symbol of peace, and it means you know goodwill to your neighbor." Let's name ourselves Swastika, and then somebody else comes in and sullies your name. Dude, I hate when my name gets sullied. I'm just saying, Jonas. So, <clears throat> actually, I have, a, I have a story that piggybacks off this a little bit. <laughs> More swastika talk? Uh, maybe. Right. So, in uh, 2012, mm -hmm. I didn't know this happened, and but I think you kind of know what's going to happen here. Uh, Mountain Dew had a contest to name the new Mountain Dew flavor. It was a sour apple pop. Ew. I know, right? Um, and... <laughs> Lo and behold, P the internet got a hold of it, and they had to cancel. They had to cancel the. They had to cancel the contest. Mm, well, what a surprise! <laughs> so I'm gonna go. I'm gonna read you the top nine names on the leaderboard at oh, the time. Boy. Here we go. Here that, we go. Uh, that the contest was canceled. And they had to apologize and say, you know, basically like shame on the internet that we can't have nice things. Mm, yeah. That's like when Pitbull was gonna go to a Walmart and they voted him to go to Alaska because like they would just be an a hole thing to do. Yeah, absolutely, man. The world trolling. So and that uh, Bodie McBoatface. You know what I mean? Yep. The so number nine. Troll. Was Fabulous Apple. Fabulous Apple. All Number right. eight was Gushing Granny. Gushing Granny. Fair enough. G O O S H. That, that sounds like a Number Jonas. seven was Gushing Grannies with a G U S H. <laughs> All right. Fair enough. Six was Granny's Squirt. <laughs> Because it's a Granny Apple yeah, Smith, exactly. I get it. Okay, Granny I, Apples. Gushing Granny was number five. Yeah, okay. Diabetes was Di number four. <laughs> That's pretty good. I'd probably drink that. Fappy was number three. Fappy. That's uh, and the then analog for masturbation. Yeah, yeah. And then another Gushing Granny spelled differently, like Gushing with the G and Granny with a Y. 
The number five was gushing with an apostrophe and granny with a Y. So okay, so basically all of them were gushing grannies. <laughs> and then number one was Hitler did nothing. <laughs> <laughs> so they're going to name. That's what they're going to name. Oh, that what they, my like, God. That's what they were going to name with the Mountain Dew flavor. Oh. And they were just like, you know what? Fuck you guys. We can't have nice things. Contest canceled. Okay, so now the the whole Hitler did nothing wrong thing that is a that is a meme. <laughs> is from Four Chan? Uh, Sounds it, like a Four Chan thing. It may have started there, but it it became more mainstream. It's still a little sensitive, especially in like today's time. Yeah. It's a little it's a little crazy to be saying something like that. But it was a meme, and it was you know like probably real popular in 2012. <laughs> Yeah, it was like you just throw that in something that has nothing to do with that at all. And that's, I guess, where it was because everything exactly. was like gushing, grannies, all this stuff, yeah. fapple, and then it was like, yes, I'm it's not like the Jeffrey Epstein didn't kill himself thing. Yeah, basically, just it was. Like, <laughs> Hitler did nothing wrong with depression. <laughs> 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 Jeffrey Epstein did nothing. Didn't kill himself. Essentially, it was. It was the exact same thing. Yeah, Hitler but a little did more crass, wrong, I guess. Was, uh, was the <laughs> Jeffrey Epstein didn't kill himself in 2012. Yeah, dude. Yeah, so... That's I beautiful. Thought, I thought that it was... It's always nice to bring back the reasons that the internet ruins things. <laughs> I feel like they kind of killed it. <laughs> I feel like they nailed it. With like <laughs> six, with like six of the choices being gushing granny. <laughs> yo, that's, a, that's amazing. Dude... <laughs> Dude, they should have just rolled with it. We've been great. like, well, we got a new flavor called Gushing Granny. That would have been great. We were not, but, but they probably would. The number one choice was, un, you can't use that. You just can't <laughs> You just it. couldn't. They would you be can't. like, we, they, they had to throw that one. Our Fapple would have been nice. <laughs> Can I get a big old fat jar of Fapple for you real Yo, quick? Yo, that sounds pretty good. <laughs> I'd drink some Fapple. Yeah, I bet you would. <laughs> So, so I got a sad story that I'm gonna cut. I'm gonna come back with a cl- ca- palate cleanser for the end. All right, I'm already so, sad though. Um, you know, North Korea and South Korea—they don't get along very no, well. No, I'm sad. Um, so I guess recently, this this is somewhat recent. Um, and I'm not sure why this hasn't been made into a bigger deal, and I'm kind of glad it hasn't because it it sounds like it could really escalate into some ish. Mm-mm. But so there was a guy. He's he worked for the Korean go- the South Korean government. He was part of their fisheries department. Okay. He was he was in his boat, you know, patrolling the waters like he's supposed to. He was um he was in a patrol boat. He was stopped by North Co- a North Korean boat. <clears throat> mm, that's never to, a good thing. To which they shot him, poured oil on him and set him on fire. Well, that probably is a little bit overboard. Yeah, or whatever. Dude, and, and like they found his burnt corpse, and South Korea is like, "What the fuck, bro? Like, why are you burning up our officials?" Wow, could you imagine if somebody did that to an American? Yeah, like, yeah, dude, that'd be like one of our border patrol agents. Like Mexico just takes them and sets them on fire on the other side of the border. And they're like, "What?" Uh, well, yeah, it was a mistake. We were drunk. <laughs> yeah. So they said. What was, the, what was yeah? What they say happened? They, it was an anti-COVID measure. <laughs> <laughs> That's what they. What? I guess they thought he had COVID, dude. They're like, no, you aren't infecting our people. We're gonna kill you and burn you. An anti-COVID measure. Yeah, dude, because you know North Korea still has zero cases or whatever, supposedly. So, so wait, yeah, for real, okay. Yeah. So, wait, <laughs> well, honestly, they don't let anybody out of that country anyway, <laughs> so there's probably a good chance. Ain't nobody came in either. All right, so, like, there's been no rebuttal, there's been no... Uh, I didn't, like, I got the story, I haven't done a follow-up, but they were just like, they were like, yeah, dude, we kind of condemn that, like, out, but, like, that's like... If somebody did that to us, that'd be like an act of war. We would be bombing them. I don't know if it would be an act of war, but we would definitely want the person or the people who did it extradited. That yeah. would be the first first thing. Yeah, is dude. We need like those if, people. We, if we had a boat and like Cuba just like attacked one of our boats and set our crew on fire, yeah. like yeah, like we would be first thing first. We want those people brought to justice. Yeah, I'm not dude. gonna blame the country or the people in the city for that bull crap, but you know, or that bullshit because it's not necessarily their fault. But we need the guys who did this, and they will be put in jail. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah, dude. I just thought that was fucked up, man. 
That is North Korea fuck. is fucking crazy. Is Kim Jong Un alive? Because I know there was. I like, don't know, dude. You don't know. I, I know there was that thing they were talking about. He had heart surgery, and they were afraid that it might not have gone as well because he was out of news for a while. And then, well, he didn't show up to like his family's hundred year yeah, celebration or something. Yeah. Dude. Well, then they then they showed him like at a factory. Then they said that, that was, was fake. Yeah, but that was like months ago. I don't know if he's showing up lately. I don't know. There's rumors his sisters rule in the country. Mm-hmm. Did you see that? Like they they uh they have like. They had an area that North Korea officials would meet with South Korean officials. They built like a little house sort of deal on North Korea's side of the border. Mm-hmm. And they decided that they didn't want to have talks. And this is recently too. I think So they just yeah, blew the fucking about. house up. Yeah, That's I how they were like, that. you know how you know how serious we are? We don't want to talk to you anymore. We blew up the fucking house. It's yeah. on our property, but we did it. Yeah. I was like, oh. There was like the... Uh, it was kind of like a uh, what he's what Jonas is talking about. I've actually seen like uh, a documentary on this. There was a house that was right on the border, and half of it was in Korea and or North Korea, half of it was South Korea. And whenever the people met there, it was considered like you know there would be no fighting. It would be all copacetic. It's kind of like the peaceful. The peace. It, right. it was a symbol of peace between the two people, right? Because they technically are still going. The Korean War is still going on. Oh yeah, they, they're just under a tr- a treaty of whatever yeah. a ceasefire. They never like or ceasefire. I guess it would be a treaty would end it. Yeah, like they never ended it. They just said they would quit fighting. Yeah, and so, like the the people were like, oh, like, as long as you stay in, they were telling like the uh the camera the camera people and the people who were doing the documentary were like, as long as you stay in this house, you're good. If you go out the back door into North Korea, they will can, kill you. We cannot tell you what they will do to R- you. Right, exactly. And they were asking like some of those because there's soldiers on both sides that were occupying this house at all times. And, right, right. Like I even saw like them playing soccer with each other. Or or football with each other at right. one point but like if you were to go out the back door into north korea or vice versa right it exactly was who knows what free the fucking game man free game so, so they yeah blew the house up man that's yeah sexy. dude yeah they were and, serious so they didn't want to have they didn't want to have fun anymore and they're burning people too yeah dude it's they're crazy over there but okay so palate cleanser i'm sad now so this happened in detroit Florida. Detroit, Florida. Yeah, I hate that I mean, part of Florida. So there was, there is a, the Rouge River, they have a drawbridge that goes over the, the, it's like, and they have like actually like a guy who sits there and works and like runs the drawbridge up and down, lets, I guess, boats go through or whatever. Okay, Red River. So they interviewed the uh, guy who was working and, uh, he was like, yeah, I was uh, doing, I was doing the thing. I was putting up the bridge <laughs> and all of a sudden this car came barreling up the bridge. And this is the exact quote from him. He says, I looked, I said, no, he ain't. <laughs> <laughs> and the dude proceeded to Dukes of Hazard, the drawbridge. Hell yeah, he dude. He landed, blew out all four of his tires. Yeah, this shit don't work on real life. And then was arrested for, yeah. for doing it. But for that brief moment in time, he was an absolute badass. Jones. I wonder if he was high. Uh, do you think he'd have to be high to do something like that? No, or you know, or really stupid. Because I mean, come on, Jones, think about it. You've never wanted to take your car off of, like some sweet jumps and just like <laughs> take your car off some sweet jumps and just drive off like fast Eddie McClintock. I have absolutely went over train tracks fast. The ones on Woodman Avenue. No, know what you're talking about. And, and that like, was a bad experience. That's a really rampable thing. I didn't go too fast because I've heard stories of it like stalling cars out. And shit. Don't fuck your shit up, man. Like I didn't go. Like yeah, like if you if you get air in your car, it is not no, meant to land no, on the shocks that you have. It's not meant to do that. <laughs> it's not in crazy. the slightest. But, but you see it on TV all the time, dude. They'll steal a car and just be like. <laughs> In the all goes to slow motion and shit. Yep, yeah. and it'll drive off fine. Man, them dude boys, they got like, yeah, no. no oil leak, nothing, just perfectly fine. Yep, yeah, dude, drives like a dream. You don't do that on Woodman Avenue, dude. You don't Not do Woodman that Avenue, anywhere. Uh, yeah, dude, whatever, man. <laughs> don't don't take your car off any sweet jumps. <laughs> you need a reinforced frame and a roll cage. Yeah, dude. If you have like one of them big four by fours that has like yeah reinforcements, then maybe. You, oh, like a F four fifty? No, like F four twenty, four two. Yes, bro. They're all filled up with pot, dude. 
made out of marijuana. The Ford Ford four twenty. <laughs> I call it a four twenty. I'm into two forty, two fifties. Yeah, I got you. But uh, no, I, like I don't know. I don't even know what it would be because you would have to get it like jacked up. You'd got to put like tw- probably like twenty fives on that bitch with them industrial fucking spring coil like shocks, and then you got to get a roll cage because you know you're gonna when you fucking bounce. You're bouncing. You're putting like three tons down on air, which is essentially just gonna like bounce off and go a different direction. Right. And if you think about it, even if you did spend all of that money just to get it so that you could take your car off some sweet jumps, you're just going to have to replace those shocks after you do that. Once. Yeah. Because like, like one those time, probably. monster trucks, guess what? They're changing those fucking <laughs> those shocks and probably parts of the suspension and frame after every show. Oh, yeah, After dude, absolutely. Like, show. I mean, you see shit all the time on, if you ever watch Monster Truck, they're always breaking shit, like, yep. constantly. Constantly. And they're professionals and have really high budgets. You're yeah. just like Joe Schmo in his garage putting a fucking sweet jump kit on his yeah. S10. Yeah, it's, you're just putting it on there to break it, but, I mean, you look, you feel like a badass. Oh, uh, dude, I don't know if I would want to do that. I would rather do that than skydive or bungee jump. I don't want to bungee jump. I don't like going head first. I don't want my feet to be the brunt of my pull. I just want to, like, jump a bridge or something, dude. That'd be sweet. I don't want to wait for this life to be over. <laughs> How about that? All right. <laughs> um, what kind of uh, what kind of sweet jumps you want to take your car off of? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? I don't know, dude. Would I've you, never <laughs> considered it. Would you I'm like not, to, like, not like jump a bridge? I would jump a bridge. I'd jump a gorge. I would like, like, you see, like, fucking, uh, what was the guy's name? Uh, Evil Super Knievel? Super Dave Armstrong. Or Evil mm-hmm. Knievel, probably. Yeah, or Evil Knievel. Super Dave was more of the comedic version of that. <laughs> Super Dave was sweet, though. You gotta admit. He was, he was yeah, I guess he was something. He was like, <laughs> he was like the Weird Al Yankovic of stuntmen. St- of stuntmen yeah. yeah, yeah, that's true. Uh yeah, I would like to do that kind of stuff. Like, I don't want to die though, so I yeah, need, like, need like my safety insured. So yeah, like Bart Ver- over the Grand Canyon, like in that Simpsons episode. Yeah, but I do like driving fast. Driving fast is fun. I haven't drove fast in a long time. It's been a very long time for me. What's fast did you ever go on in your own vehicle, Jonas? Uh, you cannot be held culpable because I am see. not a cop. Uh, <laughs> over a hundred. I've done 135 on 90. Oh, wow. 100%. I don't think I went that fast. Going from Cleveland to Ashtabula, I've done 135. Easy. Probably higher. I dropped the needle. Dude, I think like right now, if I tried to do that, I would like probably get scared. You would get scared. Because <laughs> like now control. I now I know that all it takes is one subtle like thing to happen and you're you basically like oh dude yeah my flip f- and just you're die. Not, you're not even wrong. My tires are bald as fuck. <laughs> like it's just like you're going so fast you could hit like a rock and it could like just send your car. <laughs> dude. Yeah, dude. Or a gust of wind, dude. If you hit like a forty mile an hour gust of wind come through and just like because when you're going that fast, you're not really tracting to the ground very hard. Mm. You're basically floating. Eh, eh, but you know, eh, whatever. Got to get it out of your system. You only live once, <laughs> right, dude? Yolo. My, Yolo's you, Yolo's a fucking phrase. No, for I'm reason. not. Yolo is basically like, well, you know, I'm gonna die. <laughs> you know, let's let's try to die today. <laughs> That's what you might as well say. Yeah, yeah. I don't know, man. I. uh I haven't went that fast in a long time. I'm trying to think, like, I will easily go, like, 85. Yeah. Like, but, uh, I mean, some of the freeways, dude, like, on the way to Minnesota or when I drove up that way, I think the, the I think the speed limit was 75 at some point. <laughs> so then you're like, 85 is only 10 miles over the speed limit. Right. You're like, it must be safe then. Right. So. Or even, like, the if you think about, like, the Autobahn. I remember one time, Jones, this happened at, like, the IX Center. Okay. Uh, IX Indoor Amusement Park. Anyway. BMW was having a uh, a promotion where okay. they allowed you to drive one of their vehicles and an Audi and another luxury car. I can't remember. Probably a Mercedes. Um, they, they allowed you to drive all three of them on an obstacle course. Oh, that'd be cool, dude. It was f- so much fun. Dude, man. I want to take cars on and I, I want to. <laughs> so, they had like the cone set up, dude, and they had all of these freaking turns and shit, dude. And like, so the first, the first time was like me and four other people. 
and my girlfriend was there at the time, and the dude just took us through. He was like, all right, so this is the Aldi, and he took us around the Aldi, and we were like, oh, okay. I was like, yeah, I can feel the back wheels kind of like a little bit, and I was like, all right, well, let me drive the, let me drive the BMW through. I was so, I was so egregious. He was so scared. Dude. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, what? No. I I hit maybe like a couple cones. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, why don't we open a business that we let people drive cars through obstacle courses? Yeah, we'll let them drive your car. Yeah, I mean, we would have cars for the business. Yeah, your car. Yeah, dude, that's great. You I'll drive, drive that car outside anyways. But anyways, dude, <laughs> that is all the time we have for today's episode. So please make sure to like and subscribe to the channel on YouTube or on Spotify or iTunes or this guy does Twitch. Oh, yeah, I want to drive fast now. TNT Dynamite, I'm on Twitch every single day at 10 o'clock a.m. Central. Mm -hmm. TNT Dino, I'm at GHG. I'm just going to go crazy. And coming up. Yeah, yeah. So uh, for Jonas, uh, we'll catch you on the next one. We are...